Hey everyone, I'm Poetic. And I'm Fish. We're the Wandering Food Dudes. And today we're here at Afghan Cuisine in Kent uh, to taste some wonderful Afghan food. I spent a mixed year in Afghanistan and Parwan province, so I'm looking forward to the delicious food. Uh, hope you guys are too. I don't think I've had Afghan food that I can recall. If I did, I'm definitely sure I would have remembered that a lot more. But go ahead and make sure you um, like this post, follow, subscribe to us here on YouTube. Make sure you also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We will leave the link below. Other than that, let's go ahead and go on in. Let me show you the front of this as we try some it, new Afghan cuisine here in Kent, Washington. And it just opened, as you see, it still has the coming soon sign. Let's go on in. Hey everyone, so we got our order in. So we're gonna go ahead and show you everything that we have here. First things first, we decided to order quite a bit here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's all the food. So first thing we have here, this is, I believe, let me see. This is, this the, is the lamb Uz shake. The Uzbeki? Yeah, the Uzbeki. Let's go ahead and show this real quick. Look at that beauty. Uh, special carrots and raisin. That's pretty typical of Afghan uh, rice dishes. It's quite good. So it's marinated lamb cooked to perfection. And like he said, basmati rice, have raisins and julienne cherries. There's a, a sauce there. Looks like uh, some type of beans with it. It's really good. This right here is the, um, this one's called Borani Bandajan. It's like an eggplant. It's an eggplant dish. It's yeah. an eggplant dish. Looks really, really good. Looks amazing. We have some nice naan over here. Yeah. There's the naan that we have right there. So That's looking, looking good. And then good. here we have the, uh, the lamb shank, uh, no, beef shank, beef. excuse me. It's beef marinated in fresh Afghani ingredients and cooked to perfection on an open fire. And this is the uh, beef tikka kebab. Yeah. Definitely recommend it. It looks great. And then we have some tea here. Uh, the, the tea is one of the highlights of what I, I was looking forward to when I uh, really saw this place. Uh, so this right here is, which tea is that? This is the Afghani chai. It's Afghani a green, chai? It's a green tea uh, that's served mostly for Ooh. pretty much just for men. Uh, green tea is, for, is, is a manly drink where black tea is <laughs> more for, for lady folks. And that one is with uh, cardamom. That tea that we have there is with cardamom. No, the, the milk tea is with the cardamom. No, this one's the cardamom one. It's the, uh, it's the, it's the, wait, is this the Afghani chai? Yes. Special Afghani green tea with cardamom. Oh, it's also with cardamom. With also cardamom. Oh, no, they both have cardamom, but um, you, it's surprising how much you can actually smell it and taste it. Oh yeah, it's a I very rich. You, you, you actually would. It's a super rich fra fragrance. Um, it's delicious. It hits right there in the back, more towards the back of the tongue. And I believe this right here is some, what, almost like a tzatziki sauce almost. So much like a tzatziki almost. Let me show you this real quick, y'all. Almost like a tzatziki, except it's not a tzatziki. <laughs> so let's go get started with the beef. Let's see, so we're gonna go ahead and let's switch these around here. Push that one back there. There we go. And then we'll have some, the rice with the naan. So, oh, here's our utensils here. So, we've had, Afghan food before. This is a new place here in Kent, Washington. Or are we going to do it the proper way? Let's do this. Not uh -oh. really. I think he. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready, though? Are you ready for this? Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. I am. Wait, did I take pictures? Of, yeah, I took pictures. Of you took pictures of everything. I had to make sure I took pictures, guys. It just, it just smells way too good to not have pictures. Go ahead. So we got a spoon. I'm gonna do it without the sauce, obviously. So let's try that first. Mm. 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 So the amazing thing about this is it's fairly tender while keeping a really nice chew to it yeah. and the char on it and um, the level of fat drippings down there like it's amazing so it has this like beefy smell of heaviness <laughs> <laughs> it just smells really good it, it tastes good it's it, it's very it's very easy it's like yeah Put a little bit of this sauce on it before we do. Let's move this. I'm gonna move this over. So this is that little tzatziki sauce you're talking about. So I'm gonna put some on this. So I'm curious. Want them? 
Right. It's not there. Here. There we go. Ooh. Let me try this out and see how it tastes, y'all. Cheers. Mm. Probably did this. <laughs> well, something's dripping. Definitely use a spoon. <laughs> As you guys can see. Mm. It's a good way to keep everything on. Check it out. Beef though, I like the spice. It's spicy almost, not spicy like hot, but yeah, and it has um, almost a tzatziki with a little bit of, of kick back to it. Um, so it's not just the pure refreshingness. There's also like some heat with it. Goes with the char. It's like a little bit of a kick. Yeah, I'm gonna try some rice, y'all. So, ah, oh, it's really good. I can eat all day. So I love rice. That's really good. That is really, really good. It's like. If I recall correctly, they said with saffron? I believe so, yeah. Oh, the rice? No. The carrots with it, oh my god. So refreshing. Well, wait till you get to the, I know. the more Afghan stuff. I'm, I'm stoked on that. And then. Ooh. Dropping a little. So I like the rice, it's super light, but it's like super flat. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the rice with the beef and I'm gonna add a little bit of that sauce on it because it just, that rice is super, it's like airy. All right, it's I'm, airy I'm like and light. The white rice or jasmine rice, so it's a yeah. lot more airy. I'm gonna put some of the sauce on it. Dude, this is, this is good. So the sauce has this like little like nice kick to it. So here's the to the salad, y'all. Here's that. Add in the rice with the I sauce. I kind of just made a ball of it. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Dude. Oh, phenomenal. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, so this, def I love the beef. The beef, the rice, it is so, so damn good. Mm -hmm. um, airy, light. It's not, it's not grease. It's like, um, I want to say like buttery rice almost. Well, it's and still, the, it's and the oil beef, it still has a lot of the drippings. Yeah, but the oil from um, like, from the, from the rice, it's just, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's it's the oil that they use for it and the seasonings. It just it adds a light airiness to it. And the carrots, I feel like Julian carrots here, with a little bit of sauce on it. And of course, you know we have the little white sauce here. Very good. It's it's just as I, I like the sauce. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I could eat that like on most meat. It's almost like a, like a chimichurri. I, I it's, believe it's like that, a Spanish that's chimichurri. That's style. Almost. It is. Yeah. So oh. it, it has like. It seems like maybe parsley on it, possibly. I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, it's good, though. It's quite good. It's, uh, again, re refreshing with uh, just enough kick back to yeah. it. And, and then the, the beef has the char and the drippings and oh, yeah. nice tenderness. Um, so it, that that is an amazing dish. And then, of course, the rice with this like sauce. The sauce is what's getting it for me, y'all. I love sauces, but I'm so picky on them. Mm. Should we try the, um, I was gonna say, yeah, the other sauce. You'll like this one. So there's another sauce here. It looks like a relish almost. Yeah, I believe so. Looks like a. I think it's a, a little pepper relish right or jalapeno here. almost. So here's our beef with the rice. That beef is amazing. So there's a Julian carrots right there. And then we've been putting this little sauce right here on it. This one looks like a, almost like a relish. So we're gonna go ahead and put some of that and get that started there. Because it just looks like it's something that's, oh, needed. 
I'd go ahead and um, put some just on your spoon and taste it without anything. Yeah, it's like a green chili. Yeah, it's like a green chili. Literally. I think that's what it is. Yeah. It's like a green chili kind of sauce. It's like a green chili relish. Yeah, yeah. That's probably the best yeah. way to explain it. It's good. I still like the white sauce. No. Ooh. A little after. A little like a little, little mini aftertaste. Look at this. We're gonna move this aside. We're gonna try the naan with this eggplant here. Let's put this right here. Give me all. Here's this one. Okay. So he has his eggplant, or his eggplant, his naan there. I'm gonna grab this one here. So they're big. You guys can't tell. Literally, check this out, y'all. Face size. There's actually a little crack right here, so I can see through and see what you know I'm doing the camera. But it's face size naan. Well, and and the naan usually acts as as your plate a lot of times. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, right especially when you're eating out on like a picnic or something. You're just, that's that's your plate. Yeah. Now we're gonna take this and as you guys as we said before, we're gonna put it right here on this eggplant. And first we're gonna try it. Mm. Fluffy. Sesame sesame seeds on it? Yeah. Very nice. I like it. It's simple, but elegant. Yeah. The flavor of the bread itself is not doesn't come out super strong. It's yeah. just there to like Act as a stabilizing part. Mm. Wow. That is good. There we go. That is good. That is like... So, the, the eggplant has like, like three, almost three different sauces all mixed in right oh there. Oh, yeah. You have a heavy, heavy layer of parsley, it looks like a layer of the white sauce and then a layer of the red sauce with oil. Mm -hmm. um, so and the flavor is just right there. So this is the eggplant with it. I'm gonna take a, take a nice little bite of it. <coughs> Wait, <spoon. coughs> so here's this. Mm. So the eggplant has a huge level of creaminess that just coats the side of the tongue. Um, and it's not that you put any like heat into this this one at all, which is nice. Yeah. But then again, it's like it just has a good flavor. So I'm gonna actually take this one. We're gonna combine a little bit of this green sauce that we told you guys about, just because I know it's gonna elevate it a little bit extra. So, as we said, so far I'm just. Afghan food is definitely my my uh, kind of food. I'm just I'm just enjoying it to the point of, you know, as, as bad as my time uh, there was, like the food mm. definitely was a, a highlight of it, and there was so so much good different food and oh yeah, the people yeah, everything goes with stuff. everything's yeah, thank fantastic. You so thank, thank you. you. Wow, this you is need it, filming, okay? definitely will do. So it's super friendly, as you guys can tell. Um, the food is just, God, it, it is amazing. Oh. I like it. Um, we heard this place was just an up and coming place. This opened recently. Oh, I'm super good. Yeah. Loving the food right now. So now, mm, we're gonna go ahead and try the lamb. Yeah, and then again, the, the eggplant's just so creamy. Nice. Um, I love how there's like a whole complexity of ingredients there. It's just, it's super, it's almost like it's like, like a really great, it's just, it's very soft and well, and, and the nice mushy, thing, a lot about, mushy, a like lot of Afghan like cooking doesn't start when you order. It starts like, there's so much preparation, I guess, so oh, it yeah. starts like days before to get it to like the levels of fall apart that they do. It's fantastic. Mm. I'm going to move this out. Move this over there. That eggplant. That's what. Yeah. So here we have the lamb. It's lamb, rice, carrots, raisins, bean sauce, 
And we have a little side salad right there. We're gonna go ahead and try that. Let's see. You seem interested. Oh wow, that literally just fell off. So when lamb can fall off that quick, that's good. Oh wow. So the lamb has gotten slightly cold just because of how long we've gone as we've rotated through the food. But as you see, it's, it's barely out. any effort at all to shred it. Look at this. Like it's it's literally just falling right off. I'm I'm not doing literally. Anything. It's we we don't even have to struggle on that. Um, this it's perfect. And it has the. And light. It's actually very. It's actually not bad. It's actually pretty warm. And it has a well. Uh, my side was facing out. Oh. <laughs> um. But the, the light gaminess to it, um, the warmth of it, the tenderness is just fantastic. And of course, that white sauce is going to add a lot of uh, depth to it on top of everything. I'm going to go ahead while he tries that lamb. I'm going to get a little bit of that rice here. Mm. Try this out. There we go. Now you guys can see. <laughs> it's a lot better. Yeah. So we have the lamb here. We have, uh, I'm not, you know, do a little bit of lamb, a little bit of rice. There's my big old spoonful. And then I sing the way that they do the, the rice here with the, the carrots, the raisins, and the rice. You get this nice light with savoriness to I it. Like and a little bit rice. of the sweet with that. Yeah. So I'm loving this rice right here. First one we had with the beef. This one just has like a, I think it's the carrots and the, and the, and the raisins that give it that extra yeah, it, little. It just, you go from light and airy and savory, then you get hit with sweetness of the, oh, yeah. the raisins. Mm. So, like. Oh, yeah. oh. It, it fills you up without being like a heavy fill. And of course we have these uh, little beans here. So we have these beans here. We're gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna add that on my little section here for the rice. I'm curious to see how the beans come out. Because that is one thing I'm an expert on. That's the way beans are supposed to be made. I approve. As a pork chicken, those, if it's not from mom's, I just don't trust places that have beans. Right. I really don't. I don't, any place, most places I go to that have beans, if I'm being honest, they, they, they don't come out. They cook the good. beans long enough that it's almost to a liquid state. Well, it's, it's, it reminds me of home. It almost has, like, if you took out a few of the seasonings and added a few different ones, it actually tastes like the one my grandmother would make. Yeah. So it's very similar to, to Spanish beans, which this one just has a few extra spices that give it a little bit more of a kick. But um, super delicious. Like, it's definitely like, oh, my God. Like, now I know if I'm missing beans and I don't want to cook, <laughs> I know where I can come to, you know? Mm -hmm. Or where I can get some, you know, some good rice and beans and come here and enjoy it mm -hmm. so overall what so so far what's your favorite part of it oh man uh like for me um the, i've always liked eggplant but lamb's been such a competitor for me that i'm yeah. really surprised that the the eggplant is such a huge i think it's my favorite even over the lamb really yeah that's crazy. Like, that's a, such a hard call for me. But that eggplant is so good. Everything's yeah, thank wonderful. You so thank you, my friend. Actually, do you guys, do you have, um, what else do they have for drinks? Uh, lassie, please. Yeah, can we get uh, the mango lassie? Mango lassie yes, please. Two, yes, please. please. Thank you. So, um, we got some mango lassie because we had to. So, right now, I just added some of that sauce onto the uh, white rice. Mm -hmm. I love it all. But this rice and the beans, that's what got my heart right now. Mm -hmm. Like if I was to let you guys know and vibe about something real good, the, the, the first of all, the beef kebab. Yeah. Love the beef kebab. If I had to choose between the two rices, this one's probably my favorite. It's weird. It's because he, of the sweetness. Referring with the to the one with the carrots and the, the yeah. raisins. Yeah. It's, it's the one, it's this one right here. So it's the carrots, the raisins. It's, it has a, it's rice, but it's sweet, but it's savory. Right. Um, the beans. 
I mean, come on, they, they remind me of home. Honestly, it reminds me of home, which lightens my heart because I've been missing home. <laughs> yeah. So this, it reminds me of home. Like, it, it's good. Like, hmm. yeah. These beans and rice is probably, like, my, like, favorite thing at this current moment for this place. Like, we haven't even had all the stuff, and it is this good, this delicious. And if the beans can remind me of home, then I know the food is good. <laughs> right. <laughs> just, just facts. The fact that I can come here, enjoy beans that are, it's safe, it has a spice to it. Right. It has a nice, like, it's not uh, spicy, but it has a little mini kick to it. Which, it just, that's what I think is, is, is catching me. Is that I, little. And I think the thing with um, Afghan food is it, it mixes mm. a large amount of fragrances and layers of, comp uh, of subtle food uh, or subtle taste without anything coming forward it's like super powerful yeah without overkilling the food Ooh. so which one if you had to choose between the rice uh i i really like the afghan the afghan rice uh more so than than the other one same one you did yeah uh, excellent, Ooh, thank wow. you. Thank you. Holy cow. You got that? Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So this is the mango lassi, everyone. Here's your shot. Thank you. It's like a little dessert. It's really good. I'm going to go ahead and try it. Because why not? Well, and it, it's not typically used as a dessert. Yeah. But it, it's a sweet, almost yeah. yogurt oh, yeah. drink. I think it actually is made of yogurt. Yeah. Yogurt, mango, and I forgot what else. Um, but here it is. Mm. I love mango too. But it has a really good. So, so the difference, um, we yeah, like and everything. For, for the last, it, it's nice and creamy and smooth and like has that sweetness. Yeah, the, the, I, I, I like. Yeah, that's the thing I like about it. It's how smooth it is. It's just it's simple, and it's 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 creamy in, yeah. in a good way. It's uh. I love the carrot. The lamb is, I, I like the lamb. Yeah, the lamb is really, really good. Um, definitely, definitely like, Ooh, the, the fact that I'm saying the eggplant over the lamb is such a shock to me because the lamb is really good. Just the eggplant is that much of a. I do like the, like, see, I'm a huge fan of the beef. The beef kebab for me is, is probably what I would personally have to say I like the most. Bring the eggplant over here, please. Okay. I'm say, I have no clue right now. Here we go. You just, there we go. So, yeah, I, fan of the, um, definitely like the eggplant. I like the beef kebab. I now think I want to try a few more of the kebabs. See what else they have to offer. Their kebab is just good. Ah. There's a beautiful kebab. Put some rice on this. I'm going to put this rice on this joint. For this sauce, this sauce is just killing me, man. I gotta find out what it is. It's just, it's really, really good. Oop, there we go. Mm. Overall, super high end. Each of the different plates are about 17, 20 bucks. So, not the cheapest, but as you can see, it's a good amount of food. Super well prepared. Totally worth coming out. Did you like the tea? Oh, the tea is super fragrant. It's very flavorful. It's really good. Um, just everything is very well prepared. It's definitely worth the cost now. It's definitely not a fast food dinner. Yeah. Come here when you have time to sit down, eat, yeah. enjoy. It's food. definitely one of those kind of things that you want to, you know, sit down and take your time and eat. You don't want to, you know, oh, you know, let's wait 20 minutes. No, you want to eat it now. Like, right. It's, it's that good. There's, there's no rushing this meal. Yeah. Now, if you're going to eat something this good, definitely get it. Like, dude, this eggplant is delicious. Yeah. I gotta agree with you. This is probably one of the highlights of the, of the meal. Oh, um, well. Mm. And that relish is really good. And of course, you know, it's just a delicious meal. Yeah. So, everyone, we're gonna maybe try to finish some of this. We thank you guys for watching. I'm Poetic. And I'm Fish. We're going to go ahead and let you guys know 
follow us here, hit that subscribe button. And please leave below. comments below. Definitely leave comments below. Hit that little bell, hit that so you can get our notifications. We're gonna try to do this like we said. Every Friday we'll be releasing one video so you guys can always keep updated and see the new places and new adventures we wander through this amazing, crazy, COVID-ridden world that we're going through. So make sure you go ahead and follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Like we said, it'll be below. Thank you for joining us on this crazy meal. We're gonna go ahead and show you this real quick so you guys can see how much we've eaten because this is awesome. Check this out. As you can tell, he loved the eggplant one. That was definitely, I can't deny it's good. Mango lassies. Cheers to everyone. Say what's up, fish. Hey. So thank you all for joining us and blessing us on this meal here today. And we're going to go ahead and finish this because, God, this is really good. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to go scarf myself with some rice and these beans here. Um, if you guys come here to uh, Kent, Washington, it's Afghan cuisine. They have one here and they have one in Bellevue. Uh, so definitely come to either one, support a locally owned business, Yeah, especially during these COVID times. Definitely right across there. from the big Chuck E. Cheeses, so you use that as a landmark it's across yep. the road from there. In Kent, Washington. In Kent, Washington. In Kent, Washington. <laughs> so definitely come out here and enjoy it. Subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys for coming through. Check out all this food, the delicious savoriness, the sauce. This sauce is my thing, definitely. Y'all have a great day. Thank you all for coming through. Take Peace. care.